Hey everybody, Brad C. here. Today we're going to be reviewing the Fairmont, or sometimes known as the Hathaway Pool Table. It's six feet in length, four feet across, and it's a foldable table. So as you can see below here, those legs are going to fold up just like a normal fold-up style table. And you can store this wherever you'd like. I'm going to start with an unboxing. I'll show you all the pieces that come with it. I'll do some shooting on the table so you can see how it works. Then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now here's how it's going to come to your door. And I got really lucky because I accidentally left my garage door open. And my neighbor texted me and said, hey, left your garage door open. So I went back home and the delivery guy had actually put it inside my garage. I got really lucky there. But I wouldn't advise that. All right, let's get this box open and see what we got here well that's interesting it was a box within a box so we've got that part of the box up now let's go to the next box and there's your next layer you can see there's just a little shell on there all right let's take off all the pieces I went ahead and opened the legs and now I'm gonna flip it up now it's very important that you lock in all the legs before you actually set this all the way up so I went around and locked in all four legs so let's set it up Okay, here's everything that comes in the package. Of course, you've got the table, which we'll look at in a minute. Here are the balls. These are just nice regulation balls. Of course, your brush to clean off the table. Any debris there. Two chocks. Have an instruction manual, which there is no assembly to this. You just pull out of the box and pop open the legs. You just need to remember to make sure you fold out the legs all the way. Of course, you got your ball rack two sticks and I'm gonna guess these are lower grade in quality but I don't want to say that before I look at them and this is an unknown I'm not sure what this is okay this was not included in the manual so I don't know exactly for sure but it appears to be a cover when you zip this thing up it fits neatly on the table and will protect the game okay let's take a look at the table itself and I will say I find it to be pretty sturdy I mean you can see I can push on it it's not moving the table around at all. I wouldn't recommend sitting on this table, of course, but you can put your weight on it now and again. The balls are, of course, just your standard balls, so nothing odd there. These sticks are absolute junk, so you definitely want to get some regular sticks. Chalk, standard chalk, cue ball, nothing different there. This brush, you know, it's it'll get the job done. Now the finish on this is a nice laminate that is going to be pretty safe as far as any kind of destruction uh, unless you're going to be using a hammer on it or something. The pockets uh, have a chrome finish here so I really like the looks of this table and it's sturdy. Now the rails are not perfect, you know they're not quite as good as a regular slate pool table or a pool table you might find in a pool hall but you know you're getting a budget table here you have to understand that but that said we play on this and I really feel like I'm playing a game of pool so we'll give you some demonstrations here in a little bit but I want to show you first of all some upgrades you definitely want to do for this now, first thing you want to do even if you're going to use the sticks they provided is you need tips and these tips I'll put a link in the description come on Amazon and this is a packet that has just a ton of them uh, this is actually only one box there's actually another full box and they come in all shapes and sizes so it'll fit pretty much any tip you have now the most important upgrade is just to get you some regular full-size pool sticks you can see here the difference in length I put them right beside of the ones that came with it here's the ones that came with the table you can see how much longer a regular pool stick is and it's just the weight you know the weight of this is like paper thin and the weight of a regular pool stick is you know it's it's going to have a little bit of heft to it now next i would recommend a bridge and this is a really nice telescoping bridge that has a brass end on it here i'll put a link in the description to that so this is going to telescope and it goes out to like eight or nine feet i believe but plenty long enough when you want to use it you know to hit those difficult to hit shots now if you want to get a little bit cheaper out i'll put a link in the description to just one of these tips and then you can put that on an actual pool stick which will work just fine I would also recommend you get what I call a short stick or a tiny stick now uh, these are special sticks you can see they're actually shorter than the ones that came with this but they're heavy you know this is a heavy stick if you want to put this in a space you know I've got it in a garage here but still just with the angles I've got there are a few angles where I just can't use a long stick so instead of screwing 
the top of your stick and trying to use that. These short sticks are the perfect little tool to use. So definitely find you one of those. I really don't know where to tell you to get those. I just happen to have one of those on my dad's farm. It's definitely something you want to look for. A heavy built short stick. Now I am going to be using a regular pool stick. Like I said, the sticks that come with is absolutely terrible. You wouldn't even be fun to watch me play with that because you, you're going to have so many miss hits. And... So here we go. Not the world's best break, but I'll take it. So I got the little ones. And I'm just going to hit around on the table. I'm really not going to any specific kind of game other than just I'll play this, the solids until I can't hit any more. Let's see if I can run that one across. Ooh, oh, come on, don't scratch. That seven is just a little bit so here I'm going to need to use my short stick. Unfortunately, the only thing I can do is try to run that seven all the way up. See what they have. Ouch. Ouch. Go for a bank shot here. I'm gonna have to use a short stick. Stripes. Getting all the way down. Not a lot here. Get that eight broken up. Oh, come on, hit it. Ah. Man, that just stinks because I can't get it. Huh. Call it off the six in there. I had a feeling that wouldn't work. scratch here and we got her as you can see it's definitely something you can play a decent game of pool on and I'll just show you the rails you know the rails are pretty good on this do the old uh, Definitely. I'm just going to do a, a bag shot. Yeah, the rails are pretty friendly on this. I can't say they're uh, as perfect as if you're playing on a slate pool table, you know, where everything was perfectly solid and level. And there is a slight 
slight imbalance to this. I've got the levelers on the bottom. I don't know what's causing it to be honest, but as you can see, it's just a little bit slower to roll the ball that way than it is that way. So you just have to kind of be aware of that, be aware of your pool table. But all in all, it's I mean, it's a fun table to play on. I mean, we're not playing for you know serious money here. We're just trying to have some fun in our basement.